printf is a powerful tool for formatting string. In this video, we're going to be looking at the width inside of the percent sign and the conversion type character. We have several different options, argument index, flags, and precision, which we've already covered, but this video is specifically going to look at width. Width is specified between the percent sign and the conversion character. In this case, we have specified eight spaces. So I have indicated these spaces by blank lines. And the way that this would print out, because 123 has three characters in it, it is going to take up three of the eight spaces created by percent %d. The rest are just going to be left as blank spaces. So it would be five blank spaces and then 123. Down here in our next example, we have four and five. And what that's going to create is a total of nine spaces. This first element here is going to look at one, two, three. There are three characters, but four spaces. So it's going to write justify and it's going to leave one space here and print out one, two, three. In the next element, we have five spaces, which are these five spaces that are left over. Four, five, six has three elements. So the first two are going to be left blank and then four, five, six are going to appear in the last three elements. So when this prints out, it would have space, one, two, three, space, space, four, five, six for a total of nine spaces. Now, we have an interesting problem here because we have only set up four spaces, but you can see that this number has five characters. So let's see what happens. We have the four spaces set up here, but if the number overflows the width, it's going to ignore the width modifier and print out all five numbers. It will not truncate the integer or whatever is inside of the argument. So it's important to note that the width is the minimum number of characters. You cannot have a negative width. And so we can see here that the minimum number of characters is four, but because there's five characters here, it's just going to overflow its bounds. Next, what happens if we combine precision, so a precision of two and a width of six? It'll be a total of six spaces, but you might be interested to see how this prints out. You can see that there are only five characters here, or are there? One, two, three, four, five. The period or the decimal separator is considered a space. You have to be careful when using floating point numbers that are separated by a decimal. That decimal will be counted inside of the width you give right here. Next, what I want to do is introduce a flag. You can see the flag is green. As I said in a previous slide, there is no such thing as a negative width. You cannot have negative spaces. This negative sign is not creating negative width. What it's going to do is instead of right justifying as it normally does, the negative character or flag will left justify. So instead of printing one, two, three here in the eight spaces, it will print one, two, three, and then five spaces after the integer. You can see here in the second example, I have both a negative six or the flag negative with a width of six and five. So that's going to be a total of 11 spaces. Num is going to come out here on the left side and be justified. And then the actual number four, five, six is going to come out here because it will be right justified. Num on the left, four, five, six on the right. And this is useful for creating labels. I have set up three printf statements that use the name Albert, age 18, and the GPA 3.5. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure out how this would print out. The output is going to have a total of 14 spaces because we have seven here and seven here. And when it prints out, it's going to left justify the name, age, and GPA because there is the flag right here. These right here are going to be right justified because by default, a width is right justified. So we have Albert 18 and 3.50. If you remember, when you're using 
to precision, even though this only has one place after the decimal, this indicates it needs two and it will include the zero there. Also remember the period or the decimal separator will count as a space and then we have 3.50. Finally, what I want to show you is what happens when you use the width with a line separator. And hopefully you can see that this would not work and it would produce an error. Width is a useful tool in the printf method that allows us to specify how many spaces we would like to put when we output something inside of our formatting string. By default, it will always write justify, but if we put that negative sign there, it will left justify if we tell it to do so. And also remember, with floating point numbers, the decimal separator is considered a space.